The production of biodiesel is very simple. Uh, basically, you need waste oil, you need sodium hydroxide, and you need methanol. Um, the amount of sodium hydroxide depends upon the free fatty acid content of the oil. The nastier the oil, the more food that's been cooked in it, the more sodium hydroxide you'll need to add to the methanol to make sodium uh, methoxide, and, uh, or just straight methoxide. Um, basically, at that point, you've got two vessels, one that has your methoxide mixture and one that has your waste oil. The waste oil is heated to a temperature of about 120 degrees. At that point, the methoxide is then introduced and circulated within the waste oil for a period of approximately two to three hours. Um, once the reaction is complete, you're going to have two products, basically. You're going to have unwashed biodiesel on top and glycerin in the bottom. Now, the glycerin is drained off and then the biodiesel is washed with normal tap water until you have approached a clarity to which you can read a newspaper through it.